Hi everyone, it's Carly from the PR Fitness and Aquatics team here at Whitewater coming at you with a brand new vlog this week. How exciting, right? So this vlog this week is basically about how to make your own coffee creamer with your own ingredients, mix it together, put it in the fridge. It lasts about three to four days. I'm doing this because coffee is something I drink every single day and I'm sure a lot of you do too and the creamer that you put in it and the sugar cannot be good for you. The stuff you buy at stores, the good stuff, that cinnamon roll and mint and all that fun stuff, it's not the best for you. And I tried drinking black coffee and it's just something that's not going to happen. So I decided to do some research and I found easy ways to make your own coffee creamer. And I wanted to show you guys because I feel like it's really easy, really healthy, and cheap, affordable for us college students here. I'm trying to live up to Elena's vlogging skills as she's out traveling the world and we miss you so very much but it probably won't compare but I'm gonna try I'm gonna give it a shot so here's how to make your own coffee creamer you can mix it try different things it's really simple there's definitely different ways you can do it but this is just my version and I like it so let me know what you think and here we go okay so for the ingredients all you really need is milk um, my preference, I use skim milk, but you can use almond milk, whatever you think. And then an empty, this has a little left in it from before, but you use an empty uh, creamer container from before. Or if you have something else, that works fine too. I'm using cocoa, 100% natural, all you need. And then a sweetener, so I use Splenda sweetener. You can use any sweetener you want. I know a lot of people use coconut oil. Um, I am currently out, so I'm going to use Splenda this time. So you can kind of mix and match what you think will work best for you. Okay, so first we're going to start with the milk. You're going to put, um, I just kind of guesstimate um, to your taste buds. So I probably do more milk. And I don't make that much at one time because it does go bad in like four or five days, um, I try to make a new one if it's not gone already. So I use about this much milk. Um, I don't know, some may say half a cup. I usually do a little less than half a cup. All right, next is the sweetener, natural sweetener. I'm using cocoa. Um, again, on amount, you can kind of pick on how much you want to put in for your taste buds. Sometimes I'll put not enough in after I'm done, so I add a little more. Sometimes it's too much. I mean, you can't really put too much cocoa and I mean it just adds more chocolate flavor so I usually do about one pretty big spoonful and then maybe add a little more in there and I mix it up and obviously it's not gonna mix that well but once you put it in the container and you can shake it up and it will um, dissolve pretty quickly. All right, last step, the Splenda sweetener. You can use all natural sugar. Again, on how many to use, I typically only do three packets, but again, if it's not sweet enough for your taste buds, or if it's too sweet, use less or more. Um, obviously, there's alternate alternatives than the sugar. Um, you can kind of pick and choose what you like, and then again, just mix it together. Okay, and then the last step is pouring your mixture into your container. And then the last step is just shaking it up. And then finally, pouring it into your morning coffee. Again, pick and choose how much you want to put in your coffee according to your taste buds. And I hope you enjoy. So I hope you guys learned something new today from this vlog. And I hope you try it out. And if you do, let me know because I also want to know different ways that you can make it. You know, instead of using cocoa, maybe use honey or other flavorings. I would really love to know and try different things in my coffee. 
So I hope everyone has a great day. And remember to follow us on all our Warhawk Fitness and Aquatics PR team's social media sites. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you check out our other vlogs and blogs on the website and our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.